What's up guys, Day Zero Gaming here today and I will be showing you a quick, easy farming exploit here. Um, you might have seen this location on a different video by somebody, but I'm just going to be more stressing the importance of this location in this video here. So we are at the Emmett Mountain Disposal Site. This will be an XP farm, this will be a scrap farm, this will be a gear farm for any level of player. Um, and like, it's nuts. So. I'll show you how easy this is. So you see all the human NPCs here that are friendly? You can literally take them out one by one just by sitting here shooting at them and they won't shoot you back. You see 144 XP for killing this enemy and my intelligence is not that high on this character. It's like probably lower than 20 currently so if you're at 40 something intelligence you'll be getting like 300-400 XP off of these uh, enemies easily. This is also a great location for the pre-war money. It'll drop off of the ghouls that spawn here or off of these uh, scavengers sometimes and it'll usually be if, of an amount from two to five per per enemy so if you're farming this location it'll be pretty easy to get um, that pre-war money which is important for the weekly challenges uh, etc. But as you can see pretty easily farming these people here and it might not be the fastest way to get XP it might not be the fastest way to get scrap but is it is probably one of the fastest ways of getting both so as you can see there's some pre-war money usually it's a little bit more than that but I, I mean you get you get it it's a pretty random system of how things drop um, and you're always getting a weapon or two off of them as well that's pretty nice if you can get them to pull their weapon against you, sometimes you can't because of the pure amount of damage you're doing, but if they pull their weapon out to use against you and you kill them, their weapon that's in their hand will also drop on the ground, so you'll pretty much get double that output of um, weapons, and then that those weapons then turn into scrap, so um, it's, it's pretty beneficial. And then obviously there's scrap all over this location as well, um, and... There's a pretty good amount of these uh, NPCs. There's about, I think, six to seven outside usually. Uh, maybe more than that. And then there's usually a fair ghoul or two that pops out while you're fighting these people. I'm going to try to get this guy. I think I killed him a little bit too early. See, there's three pre-war money off of that guy. So it's just a pretty, it's a pretty good farm I mean, location. Uh, more pre-war money off of that guy, so... Sometimes a lot of it will drop, sometimes a lot of it won't. Um, the hazmat suits, make sure to pick them up. I know you don't want them. I know they ha they take up five inventory space per hazmat suit you pick up. But you're picking them up just to dis dismantle them pretty much. So you're using it just for the scrap because it's one of the few apparel items in the game that will give you scrap for dismantling it. It counts as an armor piece instead of a apparel piece. Which is really nice. And you guys are going to see just from one small farm of this location. Like it takes me less than five minutes probably. Um, how easily this location is farmable. Um, steal all their gear real quick. More pre-war money off of that scavenger. You see it's just, just crazy how many enemies are here in this location so there is one in that back room as well um so i'm not going to go all the way down to the tunnel because i'm going to try to keep this video more shorter than anything else i'm just kind of showing you guys the type of loot you get off of these guys more pre-war money off of that guy um but down in that tunnel there is usually one to three more of them down there um and there's one unkillable one who's like a quest giver or something like that but um yeah, that's not too worried. There's always one right here as well, so you usually have to go out of your way to kill this one. Um, there'll be a weapon sometimes on, on this uh, thing here, and then ammo and stuff. There's a ton of hazmat suits, guys, in this location as well. The hazmat suits, they're not number one priority, but it's it's pretty nice, you know, to, to grab them, because it's just extra scrap. Um... 
and then there's some more hazmat suits on this table. There's more in that room back there. Uh, I'm just going to show you what a typical quick farm of this location usually is. Uh, the junk output is just crazy. The XP output, I mean, it's substantial. It's not like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm farming a thousand levels. But if a double XP weekend or something's running, and you're sitting here farming this, and you've got a whole bunch of daddy O's you're popping for intelligence, like, it's nuts. Because intelligence also increases the amount of scrap you get when dismantling weapons and stuff like that. So it's just... It's pretty crazy the amount of stuff you can get from this. Um, and then if you get rads or whatever, uh, there there is a lot of rads outside and inside here. There's a decontamination shower um, right there, right inside. So it's that's pretty nice as well. So scrapping all junk, and then we're gonna scrap all these weapons as well. It gives you rubber, steel, um, wood. Plastic, it just depends on the weapons pretty much. Um, and the higher your intelligence is, the more you'll get per weapon as well. So I'm just going to quick scrap all of these real quick. And I deconstructed the pre war money on accident. I think when I scrapped dog junk, so I won't be able to give you a figure of about how much we got off of the farm, but I'd say at least 10. Um, you can rewind the video if you want. I apologize for that. But yeah, as you can see here, the hazmat suits give you a glass, a lead, a rubber, and a steel. And they're also worth 51 caps. So technically, you could go sell them for caps if you really wanted to. But I'm doing it for the farm here. So, okay. And then I will show you guys how much junk we actually procured on this. Um, right here, steel 290, wood 30, oil 5, you know what I mean, like it's, for one small farm of this location, like under, like, to be honest, all you have to do is really kill the people and then that's it, uh, it's pretty crazy how much stuff you actually get from this, and caps, you could cap farm this as well, so all that gear you're picking up, you can then go sell to to a vendor. Um, the only reason I don't 100% recommend that is because you'll have to, you'll most likely get over encumbered. So here's what I would do if you do get over encumbered, switch servers, farm the location again, switch servers, farm the location again. If you're going to be over encumbered anyways and walking all the way to the train station, you may as well farm this location several times and then do it instead of doing it you know, one trip, fast travel back, one trip, fast travel back, one trip, fast travel back. So, I mean, that's just a really good um, way to do that. So, hopefully that saves you some time there. I appreciate you guys for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe for future content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.